start recording. Good morning, Monday it is. Early to the party today. Come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Is anybody there? Have you got your passports? The bus is all revved up, ready to go. We might be here for a couple of weeks, you know, this one. Have you got some nice clobber? Have you got some something nice to wear for the evenings? Yes? Good, good. Cool. I do like dressing up, don't you? Come on. We're going to have such a good time. Such a good time. It's about time, isn't it? It's about time we got out. <laughs> Come on. Let's get together. Let's make sure that we've got everything that we need for our little trip, which is a pencil and a piece of paper, actually. Um, but you do need your passports. Right. I've filled up the tank, so we should get as far, we should certainly get as far as Germany. But we're not staying in Germany. We're going through Germany. Okay. We might stop off and get some tea, Vorst. <laughs> Come on in. Cool. Ever let the fancy roam, eh? Good to have your company. Come on in. There we are. Paul's with us. Happy Monday. Paul's in the building with you. So if you've got any questions, do ask Paul. He'll be able to help you. And um, yes, and we're off on our travels on the Shack Shack bus. I think it's about time again, isn't it? Hmm? Not too far. I'm not going to go too far. And, um, and I hope you like what we're going to do. <laughs> Come on, call these are filthy. <laughs> let's, um, let's clean our glasses so we can see what we're doing. Is the volume all right, Paul? Sound is clear. Excellent. Right, cup of tea, and then we'll wait for the stragglers and then we'll get going. It's a fair old drive. Do you know where we're going? I'm sure you do, don't you? Italy! Yes, Italia. I do like Italy, don't you? I love Italy, actually. I love the Italians, too. When I lived in Nuremberg in Germany, my closest friends were Italians. And they're so... They always sound like they're having a row. <laughs> but they're not. They're just passionate people. Beautiful. Yeah, I love them. Italia. Giovanni, Antoinette. Yeah, that's where we're going. We're going to, well, actually, they come from the south. So, but we're going to stick around the north, Venice. I thought we'd go to Venice, Venezia. Sound good? Come on, we've got to go somewhere. Hey, planning our staycation. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Most of us now watching, we've got our jabs, haven't we? We've got our first vaccines. So that's feeling better, you know. And, and all this scaremongering and protesting and all this, you know, the news flags up a small minority, you know, all the rioting and the upset in Bristol and London. And that. The truth of the matter is that the vast majority of people are complying and doing their thing. So we've just got to live and let live, you know. There are always going to be Crikey, when I was a kid, they always had rent a mob, you know, and I'm sure that there are some genuine, you know, there are some protesters and they have good reasons to protest and they're trying to do it respectfully. And then you get your rent a mob, don't you? And that's what kicks it all off. They were around in the 70s. They were around in the 60s. We all, you always had agitators. They just go for it. They want a bit of aggro. They just want a fight, don't they? And that's what they go for. And unfortunately, the genuine protesters, they get caught up in the mix. But do you know what? I never left the house this weekend <laughs> except to go and see mum and dad. How about you? Hey, it's all good. It'd be fine. Let me get on with it. We are in the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. We can't be getting upset about what others are doing because we can't control it. You know, all we can do is take care of us and ourselves and make sure that we're doing the next right thing. That's it. That's it, friends, isn't it? And so we're going to go on a virtual bus tour and we're going to head down to Dover because that's the quickest way, I think. We'll go to Dover, we'll cut across in the tunnel and we'll cut through France, through Belgium, 
Is it Belgium? Definitely Netherlands, bit of Netherlands, Holland, Germany, all the way through, over the Alps, into northern Italy. How's that sound? I think so. I'm the driver and um, I'm looking forward to it. Have you ever been to uh, northern Italy or Venice or Lake Garda? When, when I lived in Germany, we used to go there quite a lot. There's a lot of Germans go to northern Italy because it's really close, you know. We're another day away here, aren't we? So we used to do that quite a lot. It was a really nice, n nice place. Beautiful, beautiful place. And a beautiful drive down there as well. Very, very scenic. Very beautiful. So that's what we're going to do for the next week or two. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. And I thought, with all this talk of masks, you know, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, wear a mask in public, uh, it's, it, it makes sense to me to wear masks. And I thought, why don't we draw a mask? <laughs> Since it's all about mask, 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 mask. I thought, why don't we draw a really beautiful mask? A masquerade mask, a Venetian ball mask, hey? So I've been, I thought it'd be lovely, it'd be a nice place to start. And uh, so, like I say, yeah, Pat, love Venice. I know, gondolas, you know, romantic. We can really, little bridges. I mean, so much. It was a long time ago. I, I, I remember the smell. It was quite smelly because it was in the summer. And I think it hums a bit. But hey-ho, I was so excited about being in, in, in Venice. It, it didn't matter about the smell. So I thought, look, it's a little bit smeary because I didn't use my guard. But I thought that would be a really nice thing to do. Look, let me just get rid of some of the schmear. Look at that, how you can get it off. Tracing paper, people. Get your tracing paper out. Yeah. Shall we? <sighs> tracing paper will be cool because we'll, we'll design it on a piece of tracing paper first. You can see, do you know what? The other thing was that I, I'll show you a bit closer in a minute. Because uh, we did the butterflies last week, didn't we? And I was thinking, yeah, they're so beautiful, but not everybody's into butterflies, not everybody's into masks, but it's the ornateness of it. And I thought, cry, we could, we could stick a butterfly on the mask, you know, because we always say, don't we, us crafters, oh, you made a mistake, stick a butterfly on it. So I thought, well, let's make a great big, you know, like, um, like a, a huge butterfly hanging off the top. What do they call those things that people wear at weddings with all the bits hanging off it? It's got a funny name. What's it called? I think an impersonator, but it's not an impersonator. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, an agitator or an impersonator or a... I can't remember what it's called. Give us a, give us a clue, come on. A fascinator. <laughs> Fascinators. Those things with all the bits hanging off. So we're going to combine a mask. Can you imagine if we wore our mask like this and then we put fascinators, hung fascinators and butterflies off them? Fascinator. There you go. Yeah, I thought, yeah, that's right. I thought it was. So we're going to combine our masks. We're going to do away with these horrible clinical things. The only thing is this one covers your eyes up instead of your mouth. But hey ho, it's a mask, is a mask, is a mask. So I thought what we could do, look, see this bit's like a bit of a fascinator, isn't it? Right, we've got some swirls. And then we've got this butterfly, you know. And, and you know, the whole idea of you only got to do half of the shape, you know. So I thought this would be a lovely place to start. And we may not make a great big mood board of all, you know. I thought we'd make a decent size mask and just enjoy all the ornateness of it. Now, I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you've been around as long as I have on the Shack Shack, but do you recall we, we did, let's have a look here. Let me just, I did open this up at a certain place. Do you recall, look, there's the butterfly that we, we were doing last week. So we've got the kind of the shape here, if, you, if you're looking, if you, if you want to copy that. But do you remember um, last year, it, it was about August, the 20th of August, episode 105. We, we, we did these really ornate, beautiful Christmas baubles. Do you remember them? 
yeah I really enjoy doing these and this is the sort of it's like chandeliers um, carnival masquerade masked ball that's the feel and this is kind of this is this was a really good thing to go to yesterday when I was when I was peeping at you know looking at different uh, patterns and things like that so the butterfly and that are a really good thing to do I, in fact I think I'll leave them out just in case I want to grab it because the other thing is you remember around that time we did uh, we did the jewel do you remember the faux gem and all this kind of thing see that was a bit like a fascinator we did those flowers didn't we cool we've been hanging out a while people look that was it, wasn't it? On the designer paper. That was nice. So, I mean, if you if you fancy, if, you, if you're playing catch up, all these things here will be quite, um, that's where we're going to go with the mask. So yesterday I spent a little while thinking about it and looking at it. And I thought, yeah, that's what we'll do. So, so how do you feel about that? Up for it? Yeah. Oh, Denise, no tracing paper. Have you got a bit of parchment? Just go on. Get a bit of parchment if you haven't got any tracing paper. We don't need anything today except all we need is a tracing paper. So we need a bit of tracing paper. We need a pencil, HB pencil. I'm going to get a sharpener as well. Let's have a look. And I was thinking it would be really cool to do this. Hey, up for it? Come on, let's get on the bus, let's get going. I'm giving you a chance to get all your bits and pieces and warm up. Yeah, Venice, fabulous. Be all right, it's not going anywhere. Well, I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> I do say that. But the rivers are, um, the canals are getting higher, but Venice will still be around while we're around. And Lake Garda is beautiful as well. Have you been there? Go past Lake Como, Lake Garda. It's been such a long time since I've been there. Years, like many, many years. But it's very lovely. <laughs> I've got some memories, some good ones, some funny ones. And I'm sure I'll remember them this week. <laughs> right. So should we get started? Yeah? Let me get a ruler just so you get some sort of orientation. I think the first thing you're going to do is take a take a ruler. Let's let's just rather than fold it, let's just make a pencil line right down the middle. Right, that'll do. So that is going to be the the halfway line. So everything that we draw on like the shape of the mask, we're going to make that pit. At least we're going to do that symmetrical. The fascinator and all that will make that more arty. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to do with that one. And this one, I actually made it go up higher. So that's the thing about working on, um, you see, I had it like that, like a cat. And then I thought, actually, I want it to be higher. I want it to go up. And you know, I could go up even higher. Look, you could really go for it, like real Dame Edna. You see? And that are pretty, see? So at this point, until we do the transfer onto card or paper, this is good enough, isn't it? So if we say, let's just, I'll give you a couple of ideas for, for size. You can do this any size you like, okay? That it really isn't that important. But let's say, for example, that it's about from here to here, it's about two and a half inches, right? And then from the t right to the top, it's about six inches, okay? So about two and a half inches from the top to the tip of the nose, right? That's it. So let's just cop, pop that in there like that. And let's at least, let's just make a mark. I mean, I'm better off, to be honest, I'm better off just, that's going to be the between the head, this bit. So this is going to be just kind of air drawer a little bit. Do you know what I mean by air drawing? I like hardly touch the paper. And then, then what we're going to do is we're going to come out. So let's, let's just get the shape like that, right? And then we're going to come down like that, like a cat, and we're going to go to there. That'll do. So there's the tip of the nose. 
we're going to come like that, like that. It's all right, we're going to change it again, like that. And now, if you like, at this point, oh, hello, let's just air draw it. We might use a couple of bits of tracing paper just to get a couple of different generations going. You see now, so we've got that. Now you might decide that you want to go up a bit higher so it's a little bit more catty. You know what I mean? Like really catty. But let's say that this now, let's say that this is the, the basic shape that we're going to go for, like that. Or do you want to bring it down a little bit? Bring it down a bit, Bob, like that. Mm, yeah? Come on, we, it's not hard. This isn't going to be hard. I'm going to stick. There's this bit here I want to change a little bit. So this, for example, is going to come down here like that and then cut across like that. There you go. That's not bad. Hmm? I like it. Right, tip of the nose, top of the head. See how far out I am. Not really. A bit bigger, that's all. I've just made it a bit wider. Got a bit of a wider head. That's okay. Yeah. So the nose, let's just let's just get the shape so we get the shape in. So let's pretend that the nose is going to be like that. There you go. So from the top to there, let us say that's the nosy bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put the eye in. So we can always change it, but let's just say the eye is going to be about there. Mm. What do you think? Looks a bit pointed, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, Paul. You might as well get the link for the rubbers out, <laughs> the erasers. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that the eye wants to be a little bit smaller, eh? Like that. That's better. Because it was a little bit big. Grace had a fantastic one of these, like a real moulded one, you know, like it moulded to your face. Beautiful with, the, with all the garb. I wonder if she's got it in America. I'll have to ask her because it may be here. I don't know. We'll find out. But she was amazing, this, this mask. I think she's got it in the States because she went down to the Mardi Gras, didn't she? She went down to um, New Orleans. I know, kids. I've never been there. Have you been there? So now we've got the shape. I reckon that's a good starting place. So let's go back to where we were, right? Yeah, so it's coming around like that. Now, see this bit here? See, I'm way wider than this. This looks a real, I think that's going to be, it's going to be way too fat otherwise. Doesn't look very feminine if it's that fat. Come on. This is where we change what we're doing. There, that looks a bit better. And then this bit here, I can use this to do the pattern up the side, because I did a kind of a, I think that's better. How far is it from there to there? Let's have a look. That's more like it. It was, it was a little bit too wide, wide face. <laughs> so how far have we come across? That's two and a half inches again, see? two and a half inches to there, three inches at the top. So that's not bad. Right, so let's commit now. Let's get a bit more. Okay, we're on it. Is that cool? I, let's just get the shape in. Good, good. How's that look? So the next thing we wanna do is I think we'll do the fascinator bit. Should we do the, let's get the shape in. Butterfly next, this thing. Now look at this, see, so the, the nose comes up like that and then we're gonna do this butterfly like that. Let's give it a go, come on. So we're gonna come up through the nose like that. Let's have a look. And it's gonna come right to the top to about there, further out than the, so I'm gonna bring it right round like that. And then I reckon, That'll do. Hey. See, the first time you do it, you literally got to scribble it. Do you want to see what I... Look, look, just so that you think, if you think... <laughs> if you thought for a minute, right? <laughs> if you think 
<laughs> if you think that that was my first attempt, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Look, you've got to scribble, you've got to check, you've got to see how high it goes. This is the first attempt, figuring out what on earth you're doing, right? So that's my first attempt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your first attempt that's what I'm saying so this can come out like that there you go I think so and then that's and then we can that'll do see and then we can make more but these are butterflies now see we've got butterfly bits aren't we so let's just get the shape in don't worry about the rest so we'll get the shape in. So that's the butterfly wings. We'll do the rest in a minute. And then I think we're going to get the fascinator going. Now, to do the fascinator, though, really, we want the other half of this in. So we're going to do our folding trick. You cool with this? Let's do the folding trick. Just remember, this is our first attempt. This is not... That's it. Fold it over. And let's get the other half of the mask in. This is like what we did with the butterfly, isn't it? There you go. We can put the eye in as well. Might as well. So at least that's in the right place. And let's just let's just get that guide for the nose. We're not going to put that in, but that might make be good for when we do patterns. There we are. Who says? Looks like a master me. <laughs> right, ready? We got a big flouncy butterfly piece there. We can fill that in afterwards. Right now we're going to come in with the fascinator. This bit. So let's have a look, because what I did was I come, I came round from this bit here in front of the butterfly. So you come round like that and you make a, a swirl there. And that swirl goes round the eye. So if you like, it goes like that, like that, and then round the eye. Just do something. Right, so I'm going to go from here. I'm going I'm to come over about here. Right, that'll do. And then I'm going to come round like that. Oh, like that. A bit fat, but that'll do. That'll do for now. And then it's coming round the edge of the nose, like that, and it's going to make a curl there. Right, this is going to look good. Like that. There you go. Okay, I know it looks ropey. Mine looks ropey. <laughs> the thing about this is, it's a week from now, a couple of hours from now, it will look fabulous. But until we get started, it's going to look ropey. You see? So that bit comes around there. I think this is a really good lesson in, in just sticking with it. Don't, don't think from it. Look, when I did that, what do you think I was thinking at four o'clock yesterday afternoon? I was thinking, I don't think we'll go to Venice. <laughs> and I thought, oh, come on, Barbara, persevere, persevere. What's up with you? There you are, hour later, persevered. And, and I think this is going to look fabulous, especially when we start shading it. Okay. So we've got the shape. And then this one here as well, right, what we could do, make this a little bit more attractive, we could make it into more of a scallop. Like that. So you come like that and then you go like that. Already looking better. So get rid of that. I guess if there is a lesson here, if there is anything that that's like a lesson here, let's make that bigger there. That's it. It's about keep going. Don't, you know, it's not over till it's over. It's not over till the fat lady sings, and I haven't broken into song yet, okay? See? So let's look again at where we're at. So we've got this one coming up there. We've got that one there. You cool with this? Is everybody happy, Paul? I wish I could hear what you... No, I probably don't want to hear what you're saying. <laughs> See, what I'd like to do is get the shape right, and then when we've done the shape, let's have a look, I think I might do that. Then transfer the shape and then start the decoration. 
Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking, yeah, that's quite good. Right, now this one, let's do, the, let's do a little bit of a droplet around the eye. So this comes around like that. Let's just do, just to get your eye in. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. And then we're gonna put pearls, I think, around here. Tiny little pearls. So we'll do the rough here so we know what we're doing. But when we actually transfer it, we'll probably just transfer the shape, the outline. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, cool. Okay, so we've got that coming through there. Now let's go back to the butterfly because this cuts in front. So we'll get rid of that, like that. And then I think what we're going to do is the fascinator, right? So the fascinator, let's just get it going. And it's, they're like little fl flouncy things, aren't they? That they, but let's get them all dropping down. So they're like that, they drop this way, they drop down into the, and it doesn't matter if it cuts across. Okay, so it can cut across like that, look. They've got those funny little things on the end, haven't they? Like little feather bits. Hey? Who's got a fascinator? I hope to get the one out that I wore on my wedding day. That was a pretty thing. Right, see? So we can get the fascinator coming down like that. Mia? Yeah. So we've got all those bits. This is quite nice. It's quite feminine, isn't it? And we can bring more of that in if we want, like that, look. A bit more. That's it. They've got little drops on them. So that'll do for there. Now let's have a look at this feather thing, this butterfly. So we've got the butterfly. If you've got the shape right first, that's the main thing. So it's going to come around like that. Commit to the shape, get it dark. Right, that's... I've decided that's my butterfly. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll make an, a, a rim around the outside as well, which we will use to advantage. Right, so let's make a, a rim around the outside like that. That'll do, right? I'm not sure about that top ledge. I think that looks a bit ridiculous. I might have to lose that. It's too tall. I think I might bring the ledge in down here like that. Okay. So you you know I said on Friday, or was it when we were, when we were working together, and I said, look at what you're doing, and I and I thought, quite sounds so sarcastic. It doesn't. It's not intended to be sarcastic. It's just literally to step away, look at what you're looking at, and then and then go in and add a bit more. Then step away. If you don't like it, change it. You know, it's only a pencil and a piece of tracing paper. This is your sketch. This is your rough draft, you see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to make the butterfly. Let's do, that'll do. Right, so we've got three more of them. And then I'm going to do another three further in. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. See? That'll be good. And then what we'll do is, We'll make this, here we go, now we're committing now. If you're happy with the shape, bring it in like that. And then, and then we'll use the outside edge, right? So this is going to be a gap now, see? So we'll use that outside rim and we'll come round. Let's just leave it like that for a minute. Just come round like that. Everyone will be different. Everyone's will be different. You see what I'm getting at? So, so that comes round like that. And then this one, it comes in to there, and that one comes in to there, and that one comes in to there. And that one. These are like butterflies again, aren't they? So now what we've got is these, look, see? I'm pressing hard so you can see it. There, so you've got that area, that area, and that area. And then here, you've got the big area, which we'll open up. We'll, I was thinking, I'd like to make some lace and mesh. That's where, that's where those baubles come in handy. You know, when we did those baubles, where did I put that? See, this kind of 
lace and mesh. I mean, come on, if you can do that, you can do this for sure. And all these patterns, once you get the shape right, the patterns are easy, really. So, so we've got that and that and that. We've got that, we've got that, we've got the nose. We've got the... Right, now, let's go back to this bit here. Because now we want to... So I'm not even sure that I like what I've done here, but it will do for now. So we're going to add another piece. Let's add another bit of interest around the edge here. But I was thinking, excuse me, I was thinking that this would be quite nice. Um, doubled up. So these are even smaller petals, if you see what I'm getting at. So there's one there like that. See? And then another one here like this. So it is your butterfly thing. And I thought, well, come on. See, that looks good. Or, that looks quite nice. Or you could bring this one round and you could even make it... No, I think that's quite good like that. Getting too busy otherwise, Grey. There, you see? So that looks all right. Or, or do I want to split it and make it more delicate? Could do. Could do. I haven't decided yet. It doesn't matter. We can decide afterwards, can't we? I'm not keen on that thing there. It makes it makes her look like she's frowning. If this is a female. Well, I mean, if this is a bloke's mask. <laughs> Hey-ho. Let's come down a bit and make it like that. That's better. Pointing it down. That looks happier. There we are. Okay. So there's your fascinator in front. Right, good. That'll work. Can always come back to that. Now this one here, this big one that comes round here, let's get this in. Because I was thinking that this would look nice. This is where you need a, an extra sharp pencil, right? And we'll get it we'll get it lovely. By the time we get to ink it, it'd be fab. So what we're gonna do is bring this round, right, like that. So let's do this edge first. Let's go that edge there. It's a bit ropey, right, like that. And then what we'll do is we'll bring another little line in as close as we can get. So we're making trim. Every Everything that we're doing, we're tr we've got a bit of trim on it, you see, which is great if we want to add gold or black or diamantes. That's it. So bring your trim round like that. I think it'll be nice to get dressed up. I've been letting myself go. I don't know about you, but I have. I feel I've been, I've got to make more effort over the past year with lockdown. I just feel that I've really let myself go a bit, you know, and um, I just want to, I want to kind of, Pay a bit more attention, really, and <sighs> do you know what I mean? This would be nice. That'd be lovely. That this one I might bring over a bit. Um, the uh, I guess the thing is, if you don't go out week in week, and then you couldn't get your hair cut, so you look like a scarecrow because you couldn't go to the hairdresser. Same. My hair at the moment is just ridiculous, um, and you just and then you eat. Because it's all you, oh, that's the only thing you can do. <laughs> so, so tell me I'm not alone. I've put on a pile, I've piled on the weight. Right, here we go. So, I was thinking now we can make choices here. See, now I'm making it's easier to make the circles. So, you could do circles, okay, or diamonds, or diamonds. What do you think? Diamonds or circles in this bit? I'm actually liking the diamonds. See? And then they get smaller as they get as it gets a bit tighter. Around the Yeah, that makes sense. And then I'll change these dots to diamonds. So 
So let's have a look. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, every, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday when we do the Shack Shack or I do a TV show, I put my makeup on and I try my best, you know. But over the past year, none of my clothes fit me anymore. Look, I'm getting, it's getting, the reason I'm wearing this is because it's the only thing that's comfortable. <laughs> I know I'm not alone. And I've got to do something about it. It's like, I've got to do something about it. I said in January, I'll start. I didn't. Be like, you know, so I've got to start again, you know. And, and so I thought, right, if we do a beautiful masquerade ball and we, we could even, since we're going together, we could dress up a little bit when we hang out together, you know, maybe on Wednesday, Wednesday when we're doing the Shack Shack, maybe I'll go and find a nice top, a nice blingy, lovely lovely top to wear, you know, make a bit more effort, maybe do something with my hair, you know, just, yeah, you know what I mean, just do something, because we still can't really go out, can we? So we could really just try a bit harder, Barbara, you know, so you put these in, I think that'd be quite fun to... it'd be good for us as well. Look at the state of my nails. Well, that's a lot to do with pottery. But again, in a year ago, I had lovely nails. And over the past year, they've just gone to seed. Look at this. I would never be seed out with a nail like that. <sighs> but, yeah, let me turn that up a bit. It just is the way it is at the moment. So, who's with me? And I tell you what, yesterday, this was interesting, because yesterday I um, I did some pottery, pottery, hence the hands, right? Right mess. I was trying to do porcelain, and it went all right, it was all right, it was all right. It, could, it wasn't the best day I've ever had, right? I think I was throwing too large. So that's all right, I'll tone it down a little bit. I'm not, dis I'm not despondent, I just, you know, I just made a bit of a mess. <laughs> so I thought... Not to worry, I'll go again later, another time. And, um, and so then I was covered in clay and porcelain. So I thought, I know what I'll do, I'll have a bath. Because Gracie sent me for my birthday, she sent me like a mask, you know, not a mask like this, but a mask, you know, like a, on the subject of masks, a facial mask and, and nice pamper stuff. Cause um, that's, you know, it was very kind. And so I thought, well, let's do this thing. So I had a bath, which I, on a Sunday afternoon, when did I ever have a bath on a Sunday afternoon? So I thought, well, I'm gonna have a little pamper session. Cause I'm not, I am not your, your spa girl. You know, like some of my friends are real, they could hang out in a spa until they go turn to prunes. But I'm not, I'm not one of them, you know? And when I go to a massage, I just chat. I'm supposed, I know, Anita, my friend, she always says you're supposed to be quiet and chill, but I can't. If somebody's, if somebody's needing me, like and and rubbing my back, I chat to them because <laughs> otherwise it would seem really weird. It's like when that like, I don't get my feet done either. And when I have had, you know, when Grace says, "Come on, we're going for a pedicure," it's like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I don't like people touching my feet. And then you've got some poor Chinese lady, you know, sorting your feet out. And so you try to communicate with them, don't you? You chat. And and I hate to see these women reading magazines while other women are doing their feet. It just doesn't sit right with me, you know. It doesn't sit right with me. And so, so I'd rather do it myself than, than, I don't know, something, it jars with me, and I'm sure I'm not alone. Um, so I'm not a spa or, you know, pedicure, manicure, and I've never, I don't, oh God, <laughs> look, look at the state of it. You know, I'm not that, I'm not that girl. And um, so, but yesterday I thought, well, you know, telly's rubbish, and, and I'm covered in clay, let's go and have a bath. And you know, I had a bath. Let me think, what am I doing here? So I've done that bit. I've done the, right, that's cool. That's cool. Now I want to, we'll do the facial bit with the, because that's quite difficult, this bit. Let's do the netting. There's the mesh bit, right? 
So I thought, so the mesh is, is, is we've done this before. It's, it's this kind of thing. Yeah. Look, meshing. Do you like it? Look, just like, do that. It's just look nice when it's done. So it's how tight do we make it? That's the thing. So my suggestion is that we keep it quite, quite tight. Now, do you want to use a ruler? I didn't read the rule book that said we're not allowed to use a ruler. When we pen it, we won't use a ruler. Okay, when we pen it, we won't. But let's use a ruler. So what angle do I want to go at? I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go with the angle of the butterfly. I, you know, I've told you many times there are no experts in here, and, the, and I'm certainly not one of them. Now, let's, let's do... Uh, in fact, I think I'll keep it that, that kind of angle. That's quite nice. Let's have a look. Now, if I... That too tight, do you think? No, that'll be nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I had a bath. Spa, Epps, salts, really expensive, Neil's Yard. I thought, what's going on? Mask, facial mask. And, I, and the, the other thing is, I'm very, it's a very fun, ba ba bath time for me is very functional. In, out, you know, scrub, out. So to lie around and not getting out of the bath, you know, and then adding a bit more hot water. This does not come naturally to me. <laughs> but I did it anyway. I thought, right, come on. My friends are always saying it's so good for you. So I thought, well, let's see if it works. And, and then afterwards, I even lay on the bed in the bathrobe, pretending I was in a spa. <laughs> and then I fell asleep for about an hour. And I've got to tell you, when I woke up, I said to Dave, I have not felt this chilled forever, any, ever, ever, ever. I've never felt that chilled. Just so laid back. And because I'm always sprung like a coil, really, you know, I, I tend to get quite uptight nowadays. And anxious, you know, a lot of anxiety. I don't know. But what was interesting was, after this hot bath, and pamper, 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 right? I felt like a really zen, like I'd done a meditation, you know? And I thought, there's something in this. I think I could do this again, I said. Because if it makes you feel that good, then why wouldn't you do it? And then suddenly I'm understanding I mean, I don't need to go to a spa to do it. I can, I can do it in my own bath. There, this will look good. But it was just so interesting. So this now, I'm going to go, I'm going to go at right angles to where what the, whatever the line was I did before. I'm going this way. That's it. But it was so fascinating. I could not believe how chilled I was, you know? Really amazing. Do you do spas? Things like that. See, some ladies really love it and other women don't really enjoy it at all. I, I always thought I was one of the latter. So, ugh, waste of time. Waste of time and money, self-indulgent. And yet, I really, really got, got a lot out of it yesterday. And I didn't leave the house. There you go. Interesting, huh? Not really. But it was for me, because I, I said to Dave, I, I can't believe how chilled I am. Hmm. And I went to bed at eight o'clock. That was another thing. I just so relaxed. So I feel like a million dollars today. Even with me. Ropey fingernails. So this is going to look nice. And here we go now. This is really relaxing too, isn't it? Just, this would be definitely a ruler job. Don't want to do this without a ruler. So doesn't that look pretty? Look. See? That looks nice. I mean, if I was going to do it again, I'd probably put it more at that angle. Now, I've decided. When I do it for best, I think I'm going to come in at that angle. 
So it's more diamond than square. Do you see what I mean? And then I'm going to put little dots in there like that. So now again, we can decide, are they going to be dots or diamonds? Oh. But that's something that we can decide afterwards. Yeah. They're going to be diamonds. And they're going to be, and it's going to be really tight. And the lines are not going to be that angle. I've decided they're going to be that angle. So it's more diamond shaped when it's done, but I'm not going to rub all them out. That looks more like graph paper. That's <laughs> right. Don't matter. Don't matter. As long as we hang out together. This is going to be beautiful when it's finished. Now this one, yeah. Have you done this? Because if you haven't, leave it. <laughs> Let's do this one next. Now this one, I'm going to make it even tighter, but I'm thinking now that I probably, because that one I made it quite loose by comparison, look, see, look, I made that one looser, so I think I'll make that one looser as well, not so tight, and then this one I'll make tighter, but I don't want to rub it all out again, I'll do it later. So this one I'm going to go in at the right, the angle that I'm after, the diamond angle, this, this is going to be this one, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go that way, this, this one, really tight. And it looks like really fine mesh lace netting. So if we were good at this, we could, we could pretend, we could put kind of lace into it, couldn't we? Right, here we go. That's it. Nice. When I... Um, When we lived in Germany and we went to um, Lake Garda, I remember I was with my mum and dad. <laughs> and we went to Lake Garda because they would come down from England, they'd stay in Nuremberg with me, and then we'd go on a little jolly and we'd go to Italy or, you know, that was all, or Austria. Or, and um, so we went to this particular town, we went to a place called Bardolino. You maybe know the wine. It's a wine town right on, the, on, on Lake Garda. So we went and stayed in a little hotel in, um, in Bartolino, which is very pretty and nice little town. And um, <laughs> I remember, this is what I, you know, the memories, right? I can remember there were loads of Germans. There were always a lot of Germans in, at Lake Garda. And then there was us. And of course, my mum is German, but... Um, when we're together, we, we speak English. We speak English usually when my dad's around for sure. So, so we were there and, and, you know, we were always chatty and chat to all the, the Germans and, but they weren't very friendly at, at this hotel. And, and one of the things that used to wind us up was that it was that it was, you know, and I, don't get me wrong, my best friends are Germans, my mum is German, but there is, they do have a habit, that looks nice, of putting the beach towels on the sunbeds so that you can never get a sunbed, right, at a hotel. I'm sure that many of us know this. And, um, and we're always too slow, that's the bottom line. <laughs> we're always too slow. So, so we'd gone out for the evening and when we came in, at late at night, we'd had a few drinks, Dad and Mum and I. We came in in the evening, and sure enough, all the beach towels, all the the sunbeds around the swimming pool at the hotel were already, already had, they already had towels on them. Right, so you snooze, you lose. Right, so I said, oh well, whatever. So we went to bed. Night, 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 John boy, night, Sir Mary Lou. So we've all gone to bed. Right, so we've done that one now. This is going to be nice. Um, and then the next morning, we woke up, we went down to the breakfast room, uh, to the dining room. Right, and then I thought this would be nice if we turned this one in, we curl it in. See, that would be quite good. Like that. So we could curl that one in. Um, so we went down to the dining room, like this. There we go. And I overheard the Germans on the table next to us complaining, right? And they were complaining 
that somebody, because they were talking in German, see now, ich spreche Deutsch, I speak German, so I said to mum, I knew what they're saying. And somebody had thrown all the towels, somebody had thrown all the towels in the swimming pool. So when the Germans had come down in the morning to have their early morning dip and a little bit of R&R, &R, right, relaxation and recreation, all the towels had been slung in the swimming pool. And I said, I said, can you hear them? They're really angry, right? So we didn't say anything. We just kept, I said, I wonder who did that. And, um, and I knew it wasn't me. I said, to, I said to my dad, it wasn't you, was it? He went, no. And my, it wouldn't have been my dad because he just, he would never do anything like that. That's not my dad. Right? <laughs> he wouldn't do that. So I said, I said to my mum and dad, I said, it wasn't you, was it? And they said, no, Barbara. So, okay. Anyway, 20 years later, <laughs> we were talking about this. <laughs> and I said, do you remember when we went to Bardolino and somebody, and the Germans put their towels out and somebody threw all the towels in the swimming pool. And mum goes, yes, that was me. <laughs> my mother typical Hilma Gray honestly she did she said I <laughs> I did it before I went to bed <laughs> oh mother you've got a lover so that's going to be nice now right let's do the eye bit now let's get around here yeah, so that's what I remember. So we could do some really nice swirls here. Let's just get the single swirls in. And if we want to make them double, we can, right? Swirls, here we go. Swirls around the eyebrows, hey? This would be nice, like that. Okay, nice swirls. And then we're gonna come around here. And I was thinking this one, there was a really nice one on the bauble that I particularly liked. I'll show it to you. See, this one here. And I thought that would sit really nice if we did that one. So it's got a little thing coming out like that, see? And then it comes around like that, doesn't it? There we go. So we go around like that. And then it's got a little hook like that. Isn't that pretty? So this is, just remember this is all rough. Don't get all despondent because it looks like rubbish, because it doesn't. This is just us mapping out our beautiful mask. There, see? So we've got that, that looks pretty. And we could do another one next to it as well, couldn't we? Might make that a bit longer. Might make, might stretch that out a bit, actually. I'm gonna stretch it out a bit, rather than so tight. <sighs> I'm gonna bring it round, I'm gonna bring it round the eye a bit like that. That's better. See, so you just, there, that's more like it. And then that one, and then I think I might do another one here, same again, under here. So then this is gonna come round like that, smaller. Up it goes, like that. Yeah, this is gonna look lovely. There we are. I look forward to seeing these when they're done. I'm going to have an hour of this on my own and just get all the shapes right and get the, the, the yeah, that's what I am want to do. So we've got our rough idea where we're going. Decorating, see? Decorating our... Now the nose, the nose is quite interesting because I was thinking what would look really pretty is if you go up in the middle and then you've got like a, like that. So it goes up in the middle and then it goes down and it's got a little up, down and it's got a little loop, like a little bead or a pearl right there. Goes up in the middle and then back down the other side. See, all those pearls are hidden because of our fascinator thing on that side, but that will look good. And then around the outside, again, see, I'm all in favor. I'm thinking I want to add a little bit of a, a gully like that, look, see? If you do that, 
before you start the next pattern. I think that would look good. And then what I did was I did like a scallop around the edge because I thought that would look quite pretty. So let's do a, bit, let's do a scallop. So we come down to here. Do it, do it lightly first so you know how big you want it. Do it lightly so you got it right before you commit. And then as it comes into the nose, I don't think I'll go into the nose, that'd be irritating, wouldn't it, if it was all around there. So we'll just do it like that. There we are. Now, don't forget tomorrow at 10 o'clock, Paul's doing the Groovy Shack Shack, so he'll be with you then. And then on Wednesday, we'll be back in Venice getting ready for the ball. Yeah, see, this is going to look nice. I'm going to work on this a bit. I think, so here, see, I would like to make a big droplet there, like a tear there, like that. And then this is going to come, because all this is going to be shaded. You see? So that's going to be like that. And then it'll be, you know, like embossed. That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's about the, the embossing and the shading. So once we get our patterns in here, I'm going to put another one right there, like that. Yep. And then that can be in there. That's going to be embossed as well. So that's, see, that's going to be shadow, shadow. This is going to be indented, if you like. See? It's going to look good. Yeah, yeah. So we want to get the shadow in. We can decide what colour we want. That's what you've got to do, is decide what colour mask you want to make before we get all carried away. Yeah. Right, so the job to do before Wednesday is to just sort out this bit. Make sure that you're happy with your with your um, patterns on your mask. It's your mask, you've got to wear it when we go on Friday to the ball. It's Friday night, so we've got a couple of days. It will be all right, okay? So that's that. And then I'm thinking this eye hole is a little bit large. Nothing worse than you can peep straight through the eye hole. <laughs> hey, that'll look nice. And then the nose, Okay, so the nose, what you could do is bring it down like that. There we go. Look, this looks a little bit more Venetian. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right, so it comes down like that and up and then it... So what you're doing is you're going up and down and then round. That's what it looks like. That's a Venetian kind of thing on a nose. Hey, so it goes up, down, down and up again. Like that. That's a nice pattern. That's the the nose area. And then we can just start adding to it. So we've done the nose bit. And then that could actually be indented as well. That bit there, see? That bit. So you do a little caro inside there, a little diamond in there. That would look nice. See how it's building up? Interesting how it's starting to come together, isn't it? And then round here, sequins, we could put little diamantes all round the eyes here. So these are all going to be little glitzy diamonds round there. Cool, eh? i put one up there. Glitzy diamond. Yeah. So, I mean, if we did this nicely, see, that could be open. You know, if you're a, if you're a groover, if you do this sh the parchment art, then you'll be very good at this kind of lacy ideas. See, this is going to look great. And then what we can do, see, you can add dots. We'll do this when we get to the, to the proper art, see? But that will look really pretty. Just adding dots along there really changes up the... Let's have a look up close. See how it changes up the edge? Just makes it look prettier. So that'll be cool, won't it? I think so. 
this is going to be nice and we'll transfer this I think I'd like to transfer this onto white stencil card the same as we used for the butterflies and the same as we used for our this was all stencil card right so let's let's transfer it onto stencil card because then if we wanted to add a little little color this can take it so I think that'll be smashing right so homework while we're on the bus what we're going to do is the other half of the face so what you, when we get together on um, when we get together on Wednesday I want you to have designed this half mm -hmm. now you look, look I got carried away look I, I had another bit of thing going on here because I thought well that would be where you hold it see and then I thought I was a little bit <laughs> I don't know, I got it. then I thought oh I'll put the holder here and then I thought you'd spend the whole evening walking around the party like this and I thought no that's rubbish and I thought do I want to walk around the party like that no so I thought I know I'm going to put an elastic band around the back that that's easier or look we're all used to it look round the ears <laughs> come on be like a second skin for us now right so so instead of all this gubbins let's just attach them to our ears that will be very very we're very used to that it won't be a problem it'll be quite nice to have your nose and your mouth open. <laughs> clear hey eh? And then what we'll do is we'll make some really, see the background, I just see this caro, this kind of diamond, harlequin. I think that's where I want to go with it. And then, you know, the other thing is, if we get the shape, if we get the shape really nice, then we could actually, uh, what I was thinking, what I'd love to do is um, take a, take the shape and create a gondola. I'm not saying make a gondola out of the, mask shape although it's nearly there isn't it look oh my god you know what i mean you can make a gondola but i was actually thinking more of taking the shape and then putting a landscape like a venetian landscape in it because you've got you there you know you can make a beautiful we could make a beautiful landscape in here with trees and um oh yeah and bridges and all sorts so I'm thinking, you know, I haven't thought that far ahead yet, but it occurred to me while I was having my spa afternoon yesterday that, that might be a nice idea, right? Right. So, so I hope I, I hope that you've enjoyed that. I have, and there's plenty for you to be getting on with, and um, and when we get back together again on on Wednesday at ten o'clock, what what you'll have ready will be your mask, right? Your, your mask will be completed so you just got to do this half make it pretty and then on on Wednesday we'll do the transfer and then we'll do the shading and the penning okay so Monday Wednesday and on Friday I've got um, uh, a mixed media class uh, um, uh, sorry a TV show at nine o'clock in the morning and at one o'clock so from nine o'clock until ten o'clock so if we're so I'm thinking that maybe we won't meet on on Friday because it's too much I get all <laughs> you know all my spa treatment goes out the window so if I've got a TV show at nine o'clock and one o'clock on Friday then perhaps what we could do is move this to Monday and then I'm free as a bird again and don't forget this week on Wednesday evening, put a, put a date in your diary on Wednesday evening because we're having a, um, a moment of clarity. Do you remember when we were using the, we were doing this on Friday afternoon together and I want to go to uh, take, ramp this up a little bit with the, with the reflection masks and we're going to do that in a moment of clarity at seven o'clock on Wednesday. So there you go. We're here to keep you company. And on um, on 10 o'clock tomorrow, it's Paul with the groovy, uh, groovy, groovy Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, 10 o'clock, it's me with the life's a ball of cherries. And then on Wednesday evening, it's me in with a moment of clarity. 
And then on Friday, I'm doing the Ho Chanda, uh, a really nice mixed media show with those lovely word stamps. Really cool. And I'll show you them on Wednesday when we get together. Anyway, lots of love. Be safe. And um, look, I've even got a pair of... There, look. There, look, there's a nice pattern. Oh, interesting. Hey, eh? me Dame Edna's. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you on Wednesday. Lots of love. Thanks, Paul, for your help. Bye-bye now.